Hello, today we're back with a brand new episode of Let's Talk Football on The Voice of Football. Welcome. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Okay. Don't know why I'm doing that like that. Slightly strange. You'll find a lot of strange things on this channel. If you do like strange, hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you don't, whack off. <laughs> Shouldn't really say that to people on the internet. So today we're back with a brand new episode of Let's Talk Football and you should know by now if you're new around here you probably don't we just bring up a topic of conversation in the world of football and I ask a question for you guys to answer and I give you my opinion on the question that I've asked if that makes sense should do and if you are not new around here and you're back thank you for tuning in so the question I asked today you probably actually can tell by the title that I've written on this video <laughs> ah, silly me <laughs> So the question that I asked today is, should Crystal Palace sell Wilfred Saha? The reason I'm asking this question is because Saha is getting linked with everybody. First he was linked with Arsenal, they had a bid rejected. Then he got linked with Everton, they had a big bid re They had a big, big. Bid. Big. Bid. Rejected. That's the one. Okay. Wilfred Saha has made it clear that he wants to leave Crystal Palace to further his career and progress as a player. And to me, you can't begrudge any player that does want to progress his career. You know, imagine someone standing in your way, stopping you from progressing in your own job or your own life. You know, you wouldn't like it. You just got to respect Wilfred Saha. He's not throwing his toys out of the pram. He's not forcing a move away from Crystal Palace. And not someone like Neymar who refuses to play unless he gets a move away from PSG. You know, Wilfred Saha is not that sort of player. So I do respect him and I kind of appreciate that he does want to bet his career and play European football. If he feels he's ready for that stage of his career, then he should definitely go for it. However, Crystal Palace are being quite stubborn, but you can understand why. They've already rejected a 40 million bid from Arsenal. They rejected a 55 million apparently from Everton as well, uh, with a couple of players included. So I ask myself, should Crystal Palace sell Wilfred Saar? On one hand, you're going to say yes, because obviously if the player wants to leave, 70 odd million, 80 million for a player like that, I don't think he's worth that sort of money. That would be a great deal for both sides yeah, well maybe not the team that are buying so hard they'll get a very talented player but they wouldn't they'll be paying over the odds for him but that's the market these days crystal palace will be getting a massive lump sum for him or they could do it with a couple of exchange players so they'll definitely get the squad depth there however on the other side you're looking at Crystal Palace obviously are not the best team in the league and Wilfred Saha is definitely their best player. You know, he's the most creative player, he scores goals for them and you've got to think, who can Crystal Palace realistically replace Saha with, with 70 million, with such short notice? You know, there's not many players out there that I think Crystal Palace could definitely make a like-for-like -like replacement for Wilfred Saha. So it would be a loss to their team and a loss to their team could potentially mean relegation, which would be a massive loss. It would be more than a 70 million loss for Saha, you know, it would be absolutely Absolutely detrimental for a club like Crystal Palace to be relegated. So to answer my question, should Crystal Palace sell Wilfred Saha? In my opinion, no. The reason I'm giving it for is purely because of the replacements. If he's got 78 million bid, I think he's definitely not worth that sort of money and I want to snap someone's hand off. But at the same time, I'm thinking about the club long-term future. Maybe keep Wilfred Saha for the next season, see how he does, you know, see if he progresses as a player and say to him, next summer we'll sell you. But in that whole season, I'll be looking for a replacement for about 60 70 million to get in instead of a Saha you know I kind of think to myself he wouldn't be worth letting him go and not being able to bring in the player in if Everton are feeling like MacArthur and Tozen you know they're their fringe players why would you want your uh, Everton's fringe players in your starting lineup or your squad you know you want players who will make a big difference into your squad and I don't think them players would so I would keep hold of Saha, especially if Arsenal get Nicolas Pepe now, they ain't coming back it's all seemingly down to Everton I think Tottenham are linked with him as well, but if I was Crystal Palace, unless I had a 90 or 100 million bid for Saha I probably would just keep my hands on him, but guys let me know in the comment section down below, do you think Crystal Palace should sell him, let me know the reasons if you think they should, or the reasons if you think they shouldn't, in the comment section down below, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new around here, but you've already subscribed, and thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video